the purpose of this video I'm using OpenSpace 3D 1.2.2.0 um, it's the portable version so we don't have to worry about any uh, network installations and for the purpose of scale in this first example I'm using um, this tag tag number one and it's set to 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters so when we scale our object it will fit the a augmented reality app will fit inside this window okay so the first thing I'm going to do is import a scene so I'm going to use the import scene option and there's some on the um, portable version there's some pre-created scenes and if you've got the uh, the manual which I'm using to help with today I certainly suggest you buy that for 20 euros um, that sort of talks about the, the, the individual scenes that we've got in here so I'm going to go and find the um, scene I want so for today's I'm going to use the cow so that's under assets models library uh, animal kingdom and you can see there's lots of animals and I'm going to go with the cow I'm going to open the cow mesh okay so there's our cow and I can look around it and we can see everything that's going on now for the purpose of scale we've said we're working with a 10 centimeter um, tag so we're going to want this to fit inside the 10 centimeter tag so if you right click on it and get the information you can see the size of this cow is uh, it's basically a meter this is in meters so it's meter by meter by two meters so we're going to reduce that in size so the scale option is up here if you hold the alt key down as you do this it will keep the aspect ratio correct so I'm going to go with this one here and I'm going to shrink it right down obviously I can zoom back into it and we'll get the information up for that one so that's now 14 centimeters by 23 centimeters it's still way too big so shrink it right down again now you'll notice this doesn't update live so close that get the information up again and this time it's seven centimeters by four centimeters I think hopefully that should be okay um, makes him 13 centimeters wide so just bigger than the piece of paper so hopefully that should be okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add myself um, a new camera so I'm going to right click on scene I'm going to add a dummy and I'm going to call it dummy AR and I'm going to put the cow inside that so that is now part of that and now what I can do is I can reposition everything so I can get the um, the camera position in the right place so if I just look and move my camera so I'm going to grab that and move it up a little bit and I'll move it across a little bit what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to fit the this bit here so it fits nicely in here so it's just a case now of sort of fiddling around a little bit until you get things positioned where you want them so I'll move that up a little bit so I'm almost there I want sort of that fitting nicely in between the two so it wants to be up a little bit and across a little bit what do we reckon maybe come towards us a little bit like so and then I think that will do that's close enough I'm trying to sort of roughly get it between um, the hoof and this point here a little bit of trial there a little bit of fiddling and you'll uh, you'll get what what I mean it takes a little bit of playing with until you get it exactly where you want it okay so next step this this cow has a little bit of animation in it so we're going to set the animation so if you right click we can loop the animation here now it's time to start adding in our plugins so we're going to open up the scene plugin and we're going to add um, an input 
and we're going to add the AR capture there it is now we're going to make no change to this we'll leave this exactly as it is we're going to add another one and this is the point where we do the AR marker now I'm using AR marker 1 as I said in the intro and I'm working at a scale of 1 meter so I've set my AR marker 1 so I've set my um, meter size here, my scale size here for 0 0.1 for 10 centimeters with my 10 centimeter squared grid. Okay, and we also get on there. So we also need to set the object name, and we're going to set the object name to at dummy AR. There we go. And enable on initial, on initialization and tracking on. So apply that and press OK. Right, next job. Well, we can now have the uh, the hide. So this is an object because we want it to appear when we hover over it and disappear when we're not. So we're looking for an object. And we're looking for the object hide and going to be the dummy AR okay it puts that in there we'll have hide on start so it's not there to start off with and press OK now we're going to create our links so I'm just going to right click on here I'm going to choose found I'm going to right click here and say show lost and hide and that's it we're sorted so now it's just a case of exporting it to our um, device to test it so to do that what I'm going to do in this case is we'll save it first so I'll just save that in let's create a little little folder here to save in uh, tests you've got to save inside the open space 3d folder which is one of the little idiosyncrasies of this program tests and call that uh, cow one Press save and we will export it now I'm going to export mine because I've not got any camera on my PC I'm going to export this as an Android app so press OK now I've got mine connected um, to an Asus Mimo now the Asus Mimo uses the the Windows sorry the Windows the Intel processor so I'm going to use the x86 processor if you leave it on default it should work for anything really uh, the default is actually the ARM processor which I've tested on my Intel based processor and it works fine um, I'll use the x86 one though just to show it can be done um, I'm going to automatically install mine on a connected device now to do that you need to make sure you've turned USB debugging mode on on your device and that is it um, I'm not going to key sign it you can create a signed um, app here so that you can go into the Play Store. I'm not interested in that at the moment. All I'm interested in is getting on the device and testing to see if it works. So press OK and we wait. That's it. Let's see if it finds the device this time. Device found. And now it's got to copy the file and install it onto the app, onto the device. Now while we're waiting for that, you can actually do this manually. So when the export is finished, it generates this folder here. Uh, inside the bin folder, you'll see the package. So this just needs, this is the only file you need. Copy that file over to your Android device manually. Make sure you've got um, install from unsigned devices or unknown sources um, enabled. Double click on it using a file manager on Android and it will install it sometimes that's a little bit quicker than actually waiting for the install file to come across but I thought show you that this works and if you're using it with students this might be um, an easy way of doing things using this method and having your students unplug and plug in devices to automatically transfer across as long as you've enabled USB debugging mode on your Android device okay success done so now it's try, time to try and test it on our Android device. So I shall plug it all in and let's see what happens. 
Okay, so let's give it a go. This is my Android um, tablet. It's a uh, Intel based Asus Mimo 8. Very cheap to buy. Got quite a few of these at school. Um, we'll launch the uh, the Cow app. As you can see, I, I've created it for landscape mode. It's just as easy to create it for portrait mode. It's part of the export routine. And there we go. If we look up there, you can see the tag. And we look down, and there's our cow. And if I can do this, if I turn it round, the cow rotates as part of. There we go. So I've got, oops, disappeared. There we go. And if I take it away, it goes, bring it back, comes back. Nice and simple. Nice demonstration of augmented reality using a, a single tag.